Father Scott, representing the 3rd Congressional District of Virginia, member of the Budget Committee and also chair of the Committee on Education and Labor. I'm Ann Phillips. I'm the Special Assistant to the Governor of Virginia for Coastal Adaptation and Protection. For the Budget Committee, because we're seeing the growing impact of, of climate change, we used to see a few uh, neighborhoods uh, flooded from time to time. Now we're seeing a few neighborhoods chronically funded after uh, FEMA has to come in and, uh, and, and, and uh, settle claims. The cost of FEMA is uh, going to just get worse and worse over time. also affects our ability of the military, and that's why Andrew Phillips' uh, perspective is so important. And, and of course, this is a bipartisan challenge. The, the climate isn't changing for some people and not for others. Um, we aren't having flooding for some people and not for others, depending on whether you acknowledge what the source and the cause are. So uh, this, is, this is the existential threat of our time. Well, I think one thing Congress can do to help with climate change is actually acknowledge that it's real and that the federal government is interested in taking uh, setting standards and taking action across the federal agencies in a, in a aligned and coordinated program to help focus the efforts of states, regions, localities, towns, cities, and individuals.